No, we don't have to stop for stop signs in this state. Stop lights, yes. Stop signs, no. So today, I'm riding the brand new, just released, Viribus Trigo Pro. Trigo, what do you suppose that means? That's right, it's a three-wheeler. My first time ever riding a three-wheeler of any kind. And I gotta tell you, it's very different from riding a two-wheeled bicycle. Oh my gosh. Very different. Different good, different bad, well... I can't, I don't know yet. I just started riding it. One thing that I haven't even heard anyone mention, I hope I'm not wrong about this, I don't, I don't think I'm wrong. When you use the throttle, the motor is in the front wheel. This is front wheel drive. But when you pedal, it's rear wheel drive. So if you do the two together, it's three wheel drive. So I just found that to be interesting. It helped me get out of my driveway, which is gravel and, and is a hill. So having three wheels driving instead of one relatively thin tire, I think it's uh, like a one and a half inch, something like that. I'll, I'll give you all the specs on this later. But it's a relatively thin tire, 24 inch tire, road tire, not a, not a trail tire, no big knobbies or anything like that. But see, here we are going up a hill and it wanted to slow down a little bit, so I just pedal and that takes some of the drag off the motor and puts some of the drive into the rear wheels. And I think that's just slick. I will say I came away from the house with no helmet on, no glasses on, no, no nothing. Go ahead. Thank you. Not sure just what I was thinking. I'll pull into the lake down here where we have to get out on gravel. I'll show you, show you what I mean about the three-wheel drive helping. Oh, we got company down here. I don't like it when there's company. Oh, and there's plenty of them too. Oh well, just two, I guess. Well, it looks like a tree fell in the lake, huh? Well, yes, it did. First time I've ever seen that here. Peaceful, quiet day. Right now, I'm throttle only. This is really bumpy. Really just bumpy with ruts and big rocks and like that. Oh. Well, I guess it's, I guess, I was thinking it was gravel to get out of here, but it, it's paved. Never mind. Well, I got out of here throttle only real easy. Boy, the bugs are sure out. Man, do I ever need some glasses on. I've got bugs in my eyeballs now. So like I said, I'll give you all the specs later, but I'll, I'll give you a few as I'm talking so I have something to talk about. Well, first let's see if we're gonna make it up this hill. I'm going left. Not pedaling so far. I'm only in uh, pedal assist two. So I'm not using all the juice that it has. This is the third iteration of uh, the Trigo series from Viribus. And I said this is the newest one. This has uh, a 350 watt motor, 
One of the others did as well, and one before that had a 250 watt motor. So this is a step up from the first iteration. This has a 48 volt, 13 amp battery, where the others have 36 volt batteries. Boy, I'm telling you, the bugs are out. Oh my gosh. I gotta quit talking, they don't taste that good. I'm gonna go someplace a little more private. Like my property. If you pedal only, it is so simple. You feel that motor kick in. It's just a nice, smooth, easy pedal. I haven't detected any ghost pedaling yet, but I haven't really tried to. But I'm in uh, pedal assist two, gear six. I'm just pedaling smoothly and we're going 9.3 miles an hour. Just no, practically no effort whatsoever to pedal. So now we're at my place. We used to, well, this is a tennis court that we're on here. Uh, you, maybe you can see the lines in the, in the surface. Uh, this was all cleaned up <laughs> just the other day. Well, I guess it's been a couple of weeks ago. It was all cleaned up, uh, but then the wind blew. And with all these trees, what happens is it's not cleaned up anymore. This has a parking brake. So you squeeze your front brake and then you just trip this little lever over here. I'll show it to you again. And now it can't roll away. How cool is that? Now I'm gonna turn off that nice color display, which turns off the power to the bike. And we'll take a little look at the bike, take a look around, talk about some features. So first let's just do a walk around. There's that nice Veribus logo. Veribus. This is the red color. That's what I chose. That's what they sent me. It really looks more uh, that color. I'm trying to think of that color. It doesn't look red red, it looks kind of purplish red. I can't remember what that's called. You all know. But it's a three-wheeler for heaven's sakes. I really love the chrome handlebars and the polished aluminum. And it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. That's a big basket. So I didn't go through the assembly process. Kelvin, Kelvin and I put this together yesterday. And they say four to six hours. And it took the two of us about four hours. Probably would have taken one person th three hours <laughs> if they didn't have to argue about, no, this goes there, sir. No, no, it goes over there. No, no, I'm telling you, Kelvin, it goes there. No, sir, I'm sure it doesn't, it goes here. <laughs> so it, we had a good time putting it together but it, it does uh, it does come in a lot of pieces the frame of course is all assembled but we had to put on each wheel each fender install the seat that was easy install the handlebars that was easy the seat is easily adjustable as are the handlebars up and down the handlebars can also tilt forward or backward or higher or lower, whatever you need for your comfort. And there's that big battery. It's got a, I'm not sure if it works when it's, oh yeah, it does. It's got a gauge on it that tells you how much juice you have. And then of course it tells you on the nice color display up here too, which isn't turned on right now. 
I'm just gonna, there's, there's so many specifications and so many improvements over the previous versions that I'm gonna read it to you, so bear with me. There, there was the Trigo 250 watt, that was the first one. And then the tri Trigo Plus 350 watt motor I'm talking about. And then this has the 350 watt motor as well, but it has brand new front suspension. Neither of the other two bikes had front suspension. So that really helps a lot on bumps, bumpy roads. Continuing with my reading, the battery on this, like I oh, I, I guess I already told you that. It's a 48 volt, 13 amp hour, where the previous ones were 36 volt. Top speed on this is 15 and a half miles per hour. I'll tell you why it's kind of low soon. It has a twist throttle. You just twist it right here. That's your throttle. I prefer that over uh, lever type throttle. It's got, of course, it's got a LED headlight. Nice and bright, it's not turned on right now. It's got a two amp charger for four to six hour charging of the battery. It's got pedal assist modes from one to five. Now, pedal assist range on this one is 53 miles. So if you're pedaling and using pedal assist, you can go about 53 miles. Throttle only range on this is 38 and a half miles. Previously, the bike before this was 31 miles and the one before that was 33 miles. So you got a pretty good boost due to that larger battery. The frame is carbon steel. The rims are aluminum alloy. I mentioned the tires. The tire size on this one is 24 by 1.95 inches. It's got dual mechanical disc brakes, front and rear, right down here. It's got two chains. That's for a smooth transition of power. It's got the Shimano derailleur and the Shimano seven speed shifter. And I think I already mentioned that it has a parking brake. Not all of them do. You know, you park it and you walk away and then it rolls away. Well, on this one, it's not gonna roll away. It's, it's got a lock. It's got real comfortable ergonomic grips on it. It's got a horn, horn button right there. It's got reflectors on the rear fenders. It's got a real comfortable seat. They call it an ergonomic seat. It's very comfortable. Many of these e-bikes that you get just are not comfortable at all but this one is very comfortable and it does like I said it has those fenders not all bikes have fenders but this one has three of them they say it weighs 87 pounds I know the package weighed 99 pounds that big rear rack will hold how much do you think 110 pounds you can totally carry whatever you put in that basket and yourself 330 pounds so 110 pounds back there you can weigh 220 pounds and ride this or you can weigh 330 pounds and don't carry anything. It's a good looking bike. It's a well-made bike. Like I said, it does take a little getting used to to ride it, but uh, I'm getting the hang of it. That was kind of a fun little ride. Let's go for another ride, shall we? Well, that's just plain fun. And look it, it's a step through. You don't have to worry about throwing your leg over the seat. Easy peasy. See if we got any kind of view today. It's sunny but cloudy both. Pedaling and pedal assist one, it looks like. Well, I'm going up a hill here, but about seven, eight miles an hour is what pedal assist one is limited to when you're pedaling. When you're not pedaling, doesn't matter which pedal assist level you're in, you're going to go 15 or a little better miles per hour. Well, the clouds are kind of pretty, aren't they? As long as there's some blue sky above. What I really like about this, and I've heard some people complain about slow takeoffs when you're using the throttle only. And the reason they complain is because maybe you want to get somewhere in a hurry, like across an intersection. I understand getting across the intersection, busy intersection. But for me, it just feels good to just ease into it instead of uh, a lot of bikes, a lot of e-bikes are 
kind of jerky. They want to just get going right now and you got to be ready for it. I feel like just about anybody can ride this bike. I'm doing very little pedaling here. Mostly I'm just throttling, but I can, I certainly can pedal. Pedaling up this hill, no throttle, going nine miles an hour. Easy peasy. I'm telling you, this is simple. Just simple. No pedaling, pedal assist two, going 15.7, 15, 15, 16 miles an hour. Up a slight incline, that's pretty darn good. The reason these don't go as fast as e-bikes is because they don't corner as well as a two-wheeled bike. So you have to slow down on the corners a little bit. And unlike a bicycle or even a motorcycle, you don't lean into the turn because that will cause a possible tip over. You wanna lean the other way. That's because you have these two corners, one on your left, one on your right, that are not supported like the two rear wheels are. So if this was to tip over, it's gonna tip forward left or forward right. It's just that it's not something you really need to be concerned about if you're not driving crazy. I gotta get some mirrors. They're, they're gonna send me some mirrors, but they haven't done it yet, and I didn't know that car was back there. There's a little lake here, I can't remember what it's called. Connects to a bigger lake, Lake Taps. And I don't know if we ever actually get to see that lake in this ride or not. Boy, that was easy coming up that hill. I gotta find a different word for easy because this is all easy. Oh yeah, Lake Jane, it's called Lake Jane. Hi. Oh, this is the, uh, this is the senior center here. Doesn't look like anybody's busy being a senior though. How you doing? Doing great, thank you. Good. How about you? Okie dokie. Alright. Well there's no there's no place to ride here except on the sidewalk. Oh you know? As long as we've come this far. Let's go on down to Lake Taps. Well, I just said there's nowhere to ride, and now I'm riding there. Nowhere. No shoulder, no sidewalk on this side. I should have stayed on the other side, huh? This is called Allen York Park. A couple of baseball fields. One, two, three. Baseball fields, basketball court. There's a skate park over there. Snack bar ahead. They have city events here. Music in the park, that kind of stuff. I hope I remember how to ride a two-wheeler. We'll go over here and take a look at the lake. If we can get there from here. Lake Taps Boat Launch, or Allen York Park Boat Launch, I don't know which, but Lake Taps anyway. My sister used to have a place out there and around the corner. Don't forget to lock that parking brake, Phil. Yeah, let's take a look. A few people over there in the, on this side of the park, but not many. On a hot summer day, holy cow, that place is packed. In fact, they put a limit on it, I think, like 200 people or something like that. See how easy that just takes off? No jerking, just easy. Oh, look at that, come to a dead stop. Don't have to put my feet on the ground. Just sit here, no balancing. Just, 
just good to go. Hope that car behind me stops. So my final thoughts and impressions. Well, this is a lot of e-trike for your money. How much money? I don't know. Like I say, it's brand new. I don't even know if they have them for sale yet. Uh, I do know that there's a discount code down in the description. Take a look at that. Take a look at the bike on their website. Look at their other bikes. They've got a lot of e-trikes. I've seen some of them down below $800, I think. But this was fun to ride. I said it took a lot of getting used to. Well, it didn't take all that much getting used to. I did everything I asked of it. I can imagine somebody, look at the size of that basket. I can imagine somebody taking this to the grocery store. I, I know that I could get a week's worth of groceries in there easy. It's a big basket. Why not go grocery shopping in style, huh? Comfortable, responsive, safe, I would say. I would say safe. Viribus. Very best. Just look for that logo. Well, that was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you'll consider one of these if this is the kind of bike that you've been looking for. New wood turning video tomorrow. So for now, this is Phil, Shady Acres Wood Shop. Signing off. I'm going bike riding.